This video is sponsored by Babbel. Babbel is a language learning app that teaches you how to speak, read and listen in new languages. And it's not just one of these apps where you just repeat words on a screen. No, it gives you tools for real world conversations such as games, podcasts, videos and live online classes with expert teachers. So whether you want to become fluent in a new language or just learn a few buzzwords if you're going on holiday, Babbel is the app for you. I personally do quite a bit of travelling, especially around the south of Spain, and this app is invaluable, just being able to pick it up and do a few lessons to brush up on my dialect before I go to travel. And that's why this app is so useful, because whether you're like me and you like to learn new languages, or perhaps you're starting a new job in a multicultural workforce and you're trying to learn that new language to further your career, Babbel has solutions for you. They have many different subscriptions to choose from, including a lifetime subscription, and the best part is, if you try it out and you think, this isn't really my cup of tea, they do offer a 20 day money back guarantee. So they're still giving you that three weeks to try and learn that new language, and if it doesn't work, then that's fine, just get your money back. To get Babbel, just click the link below, and when you use my link, you will get 60% off. So click the link below and start learning a new language today. Muchas gracias y adiós. All right, recruits, that's enough. Recruits. Recruits, listen in now. Shut it! Good. Now, next time, make sure you shut up faster. That's why the gods gave you two ears and one mouth. Got it? Now, I'm sure you all know why you're here. You're here because the king, in all his infinite wisdom, has decided he wants to expand his barracks of guards. And you, somehow, have been picked out amongst the chaff, and you are the wheat, you are the dog's bollocks, you are the best of the best. And I look at you now, and I wonder what that man was smoking, because I see nothing here that resembles anything like greatness. I am here to change that. I am going to be hard on you. I'm not going to hold your hand, I'm not your mammy. I am Captain, and you will refer to me as Captain or Sir. Now, stand to attention and prepare for a uniform inspection. Now, I can see you rolling your eyes back there, but I assure you, this is a very crucial task. What standard are you setting when you go out to represent the kingdom with unpolished boots, a dirty shield and a dull blade? I'm going to work my way down the line, and I swear to God if I see one hair out of place, if I see one speckle of rust on your armour, I'm going to stop being so goddamn polite. Do we understand each other? Good. Recruit 1. Present. No, 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 no. Have you even polished your armour? I don't believe you for a second. What did you use? Cooking fat! Look at it! It's greasy! Do it again! Get out my sight! Right, recruit two, let me... <clears throat> Lift up your helmet! Oh, for God's sake, look at that unruly hair! Don't you know we have dress codes here? All hair has to be tied back out your face. My God, it's like a bird's nest up there. Get that monstrosity out of my face. Go and report to the bathhouse. Tell them that I sent you. And you're not coming back here until I can see my face reflected in your bald, shiny little head. Got it? Go! Recruit three. Present arms. Good God, son. You're built like an ear of corn. A stiff breeze could blow you over. 
I'm surprised you haven't broken a bone wearing your armour. Tell me, what hole did you crawl out of? You bloody stick insect. Oh, this will not do at all. Look at you, your armour's just hanging off you. Report to the blacksmith. Get it remade. Oh god, they let anyone in these days. Recruit four, present up. Well, well, well. If it isn't the regiment's little golden child. Your last instructor had nothing but good words to say about you. I promised him I wouldn't go easy on you. And I'm a man of my word. Present arms. Not bad. Present sword. It seems that your previous instructor has lost his touch. Your sword is bloody dull. Look at it. It couldn't cut bloody butter. Do you know what? All of you, out. I've not seen one thing that indicates any sort of greatness. You're nowhere near to the standard that I was promised. Did you see something, number four? <laughs> Your sword is sharp, is it? Are you calling me a liar, recruit? Oh, you've done it now. All of you, get out! You've got one hour to make yourself presentable. But it's curtains for the lot of you. Go! Not you, number four. You stay here. So... How are you finding things, recruit? You must be settling in pretty well, getting pretty comfortable, if you've got the brass neck enough to insult an officer in front of his recruits. But I wouldn't expect anything less from a spoiled little brat like you. Oh yes, I know all about your time at this academy. The golden child of every mentor and teacher you've had here. They've told me all about you. About your brilliance, your tactical prowess, your intelligence. But they've also told me you're lazy, you're arrogant, and you've got a problem with following orders. Suffice to say, that doesn't make you a soldier. That makes you dangerous. And I need to sit here and think really hard if I want that kind of danger among my men. I suppose the question is, recruit, how badly do you want to be here? Because I'm not convinced. Not even slightly. see that fire in your eyes. That'll serve you well, but only if it's directed at the right people. I need to know that I can trust you, recruit. The others look to you, so when they see you defying my orders, second-guessing my decisions, it gives them ideas too. Good soldiers don't have ideas. Good soldiers follow orders. I need to know that when the time comes, you'll follow orders. And you'll do it without complaint or snarky comments. 
Now I can see those wheels turning in your head. I know what you're thinking. You're very much a what's in it for me sort, aren't you? I knew a hundred people like you back when I was serving as a lowly foot soldier. All of them didn't care about duty. It was all what was in it for them. They all turned to mercenary work, privately sourcing out their talents to anyone who would pay them. Devoid of honour, respect, morality. But, I suppose that a little bit of tenacity is good. A little bit of self-preservation so I'll tell you what. If I can trust you to stay in line and not to give those idiots out there any funny ideas, I'll give you some private training. And none of this push-ups and sit-ups and how to polish your armour. I'm talking the real deal. I'll teach you how to fight, how to win. I'll teach you how to keep the peace, how to defuse arguments, and, when that's not possible, how to end them. I'll get you so far ahead of your classmates that your little ego will be stroked for all time. So what do you say, number four? Do we have a deal? Good. Now, don't expect for me to go easy on you. Quite the opposite. I'm going to push you until breaking point. I'm going to make everyone else out there pity you. They have to see you suffer, sweat, bleed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But, I can assure you, that the person that rises from the husk of your beaten and bloodied body will be one hell of a warrior. One hell of a guard. One hell of a hero. Now, get out of my sight. And your sword? It was alright, I suppose. But next time, keep it to yourself. Got it? Good. Off with you now. I can only be so polite for so long.